here to show you guys a quick little review and installation video of these uh, quick latch products. Uh, basically, uh, the problem I'm having is my new bumper tabs broke and this one is really weak. Uh, this one I tried to solder a wire to support it, but no use. Uh, so instead of getting a new bumper, uh, I got one of these. I believe they're $24, um, but they're well worth it. I know there are some JDM kits out there with the rubber bands, and I have nothing against them, but uh, for a muscle car, I don't think they'll really go. And I just love the, how clean this one looks. Um, I already did the other end, and this is the finished product. Uh, so it's just one button, you press it, and the bumper pops off. So for this installation, uh, basically all you need is this kit, obviously. Uh, you need two 11 millimeter uh, wrenches. Uh, you need something to drill holes with. This step one works perfectly. And uh, toothpaste is just an extra. It's gonna help you mark where you need to drill. Uh, but that's about it, let's get started. Uh, so the first thing you gotta do is, obviously you gotta uh, pull back your bumper right here. And in my case, I'm gonna take off this bracket. It'll be easier to start mounting there. Next step we want to do is uh, we want to take uh, this part and uh, put it somewhere in the body. Uh, usually cars will have a hole here, uh, and mine does, so it's perfect and it fits right through. And uh, on the other end, we want to screw it down with these. That will hold it nice and tight. Uh, don't worry about tightening them right away because you're going to need to adjust them at the very end. Now I got mine uh, hand tightened from both ends. And uh, this is the part where we put a little bit of toothpaste on, just like so. And next step we wanna do is stretch on our bumper. Uh, just kind of keep it away, stretch it on, make sure you line it with the headlights perfectly. And, um, and then push it onto here. And the toothpaste should be, show you exactly where you wanna start drilling on your uh, bumper. So we did that and I don't know if you can see, we got some, some toothpaste there. So we know that's exactly where we want to start drilling. Um, on the other side, once you make a hole, um, you want to put some painter's tape here, wherever you're going to be drilling, not to damage the paint. My paint is only like two days old, so I really don't want to damage it. Got our hole drilled through. Uh, since it's a cone, uh, you want to kind of start from here and when it's wide enough, uh, go in back from the other side uh, just to make it nice and even. But I'd say it's about um, seven eighths of an inch. But I'd stop often and check just because you don't want to make the hole too big. Uh, next, we just, uh, just thread it through and uh, we got this piece it just tightens on the other end. Tighten that, and now we could try to clamp it on. Almost, but uh, I'd say we could adjust it and make that sit a little bit deeper. And then once we tighten it, that should tighten this part up as well, and we should have no gap. So this is where you want to go back and make adjustments and tighten it. Um, to make sure the bumper sits perfectly. And that's it. We got it nice and tight. And now we can clip it on for the final time. Make sure everything is adjusted here. Nice. And... Yeah. And that's it. Um, I'll leave a link in the description where you could get these kits. 
but I think they're well worth the price and look very, very clean. Uh, people always ask, start asking you what the button is for. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and good luck.